I met <coughs> Melissa when I was, yeah, I was 22 is when I first met her, and she was 20. And I was leading worship in a Bible study, and there was Melissa. Just I, I was leading, and I just kind of opened my eyes for a second, you know, and, and not really meaning to, but when I did, she was right in front of me, and she was just raising up her hands, just worshiping the Lord. And I remember just that reaction of just, wow, I can tell she loves Jesus. Like I didn't, it's almost like I don't want to bother her, <laughs> you know. She's really spending time with the Lord here, and uh, that was kind of the start of just like, man, I, this this girl is special, you know. And make a long story short, we ended up. <clears throat> um, getting together and hanging out, and then, you know, it didn't work out, the whole kind of drama of relationships, you know, and that was just normal with, with, with that and us being younger. And, um, but then, as I thought things were kind of being separate, you know, we were being separate from each other, and I thought, you know what, this is just not what God has. I got a phone call that uh, she had cancer, and I actually went down to go visit her because I was like, wow, you know, she's still special in my life. You know, I we didn't see each other much at that time, but I just I still wanted to be there to support her. And um, I walked in, and she was just smiling, and I was like, you doing okay? And she was just like, you know what, if one person accepts Jesus, if I were to die from this, but if one person gives their life to Christ, it's all worth it. You know, and I remember just that whole feeling of like, how, I don't know if I could even say that. You know, this is someone that's like, you know what, I'm going to be in heaven, so if someone else accepts Christ, but I go, it's okay. You know, and that, that was the start of kind of that understanding of her faith, her true faith. And uh, we ended up, long story short, we ended up getting engaged, ended up getting married, and things were looking better right after we got married, but uh, we got back from the honeymoon, and the doctors basically told us that she had weeks to months to live, that the cancer had returned, and it was spreading rapidly, and it was all over. And um, so, you know, that was a, a battle, and I, you know, she ended up, after four and a half months of being married, she ended up going to be with the Lord. And that was a very difficult time, and it's a, it's a whole other story in itself, but it's, it was something where all the faith and all the things, I went to Bible college for two years, and all the stuff that I learned in the Bible, and you know in your head, it's like you have to really sink it deep in your heart. You have to really live out your faith, basically. And when she died, I remember just going back to almost just that foundation, just like, okay, you are God, and I don't understand, but I know you're in control. And then you just start from there. You know, okay, here we go. But him just being so faithful, you know, and him just guiding me, giving me songs, and starting to heal my heart, and I start to play and start to share of God's faithfulness, and uh, just to watch how sharing in the midst of even trials, and, and sharing His faithfulness in the midst of trials, just how it ministered to so many people, and even though now, you know, I have a beautiful family now, God has, you know, restored my life, and have two amazing children, uh, two little girls, it's still a thing that I share, because it's still a part of my life, and it's still a testimony of God's faithfulness in my life. And um, she was a special woman, and God used her in my life in a, an amazing way, and I still want to share her story because it was such a pivotal point in my life and of, of that real firm stance in my, my faith, you know. And so um, I think it's very important. And I, I don't just share that. I have so much stuff that's going on now. I share my family. I share about other things going on. That's a big part of my life. The amazing thing is I met my wife, Adrian on the road. She used to be in a band called the Benjamin Gate. And just, I saw her sensitivity to the Lord being on the road. I, I wasn't even looking at all. I was like focused and like I just went through this tragedy. The God just went, Zoom, this is who I want you to be with. And it's like, oh, okay. And you see how he had ordained, you know, her path and my path together. And how we happened to be on the same tour. And, you know, it was just amazing. Um, just God's hand of that, and you know she's been a huge pivotal point of this whole ministry, and and God's just used her in my life tremendously, you know. And now we have two children, and my oldest is Isabella, she's four. My youngest is Ariane, and she's two. And uh, it's been an amazing just journey of of seeing the hand of God in our life. And um, you know now we're just she supports what I do. She sings too. She has an album that she put out, you know, kind of her own solo thing. It's called 80. And, you know, she doesn't tour by herself. We usually, if she does play, it's kind of with me or, you know, because we don't ever like going apart because it's just too hard. Um, so if, you know, when we go on tour, we take a family bus and we have the whole family bus and the crew bus, you know, and we all travel, you know, together. So I, I love that. And to have my kids see me get on stage and talk about Jesus to know that that's why I do what I do is so important for me too, you know, so.